Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again after a beautiful Mastema run, as you can see right here. I'm recording, not quite back to back, I've had lunch in between, but we're going to jump in as regular old Eve here and uh, see what's what and see if we can get some good stuff going. I'm going to not instantly use my um, my razor blade this time. I think we have an XL flaw here, right? It's got to be an XL flaw. It's not? Okay. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to not use my... Um, Razor blade straight away here for one simple reason. I feel like whenever I do I immediately come across the cash room And then I just feel like <laughs> kind of devastated that I made such a abhorrent mistake anyways Get over here you spidey boy. I don't know how the other one managed to kill itself, but I'm happy that it did Um, Yeah, when you see like a starting area like this, it's like this is pr Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I'm like, This is prime territory for um an XL flaw, and it's like, nope, no XL flaw today. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. Uh, ooh, thank you for that. I'm gonna do the small rooms first. I don't know why, I just feel safe at doing the smaller rooms. And we get our item room a little earlier here. But we're gonna kick off the episode with our first sort of little question. I've been trying to get these in a lot more often. Do you know, Ball of Tar? Holy hell, Ball of Tar's an item I don't see very often. And it makes Eve look awesome. I actually think Ball of Tar's really, really good. Oh my lord. <laughs> um, cash room is there, so we want to try and avoid using our razor blade here. Yeah, I was going to use it just then to get the extra damage, because uh, this is a hell of a room. But I think we should try and hold off, even with the very, very low damage we start with here. Uh, but yeah, well, I've been trying to kick off with these questions of the day sort of thing here. So my question today for you guys out there is, what's your favorite animal? It can be like a pet and like an animal, like a specific animal, or it can be like an animal type. Like I really like um, chinchillas. My um, my friend, uh, my my mum's my friend, I went to visit them once when I was younger, and they had a pet chinchilla, and it was like the best thing ever. But then um, my my cat uh, Jimmy, um, unfortunately, he's dead now. But um, when I lived with my parents. Uh, I had a cat called Jimmy, and he was the best cat of all time. I loved him very dearly. And I unfortunately live in a flat now, so I can't have pets. But holy hell, I'm going to get a cat as soon as I get myself a house. Um, I kind of want a house more so just to get myself a cat than anything. Or a chinchilla. Or like a hamster. Just just anything that's small, soft, and cuddly. <laughs> I just want something. Okay, we're, we're good to go here. I absolutely love the visuals that we've got going on here with uh, the ball of tar, I've got to say. Uh, we'll pop in here, get a soul of Jake Manizo. <sighs> it crashes my game every single time I use it. Like, and I mean every single time without failure. But I'm gonna just pop it and see. Don't... Just... Why do I bother? <laughs> every time. Oh my lord. I'm always like, this time it won't. This time it won't. It always does. I'm going to have to replay the whole first floor now. I should have exited the game and booted it back up before doing that. That's that's annoying, but it does now mean that I know I don't need to go into my cash room and I can use our uh, razor blade early to um, to skip through these rooms a bit faster. So let's, uh, let's do that now and hope we don't die. But uh, yeah, that's a little upsetting. All right, give me that ball of tar. It's a ball of tar. Do, 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 do. I mean, I don't even need to do that room anymore, do I? Unless I unless I feel like I want to go to the shop, which currently I do not. Um, but yeah, now we can use Razor Blade a little more safely. I say safely, it's not really safe. It's more so that it's just more feasible. But yeah, another... This is maybe a generic sort of answer to that question, but another animal that I really, really like, and I've always... I wouldn't say wanted one as a pet, but I've always wanted to, like be around them is is like monkeys and apes are just fascinating to me like i don't think they'd be very good pets just just because i feel i feel like monkeys are like obviously one of the closest animals to humans obviously um but because of that fact i feel like having one as a pet just kind of feels a bit wrong one thing i've been seeing on youtube a lot recently which they look like great pets i mean honestly the videos don't really go into depth about how hard they are to care for but I've been seeing a lot of videos of people having otters as pets. Ooh, we... <sighs> hmm. <sighs> we really need another bomb. 
I'm going to try and blow this up first. I, I feel like getting a soul heart is more important right now. And we did indeed get a soul heart. I was hoping to get another bomb out of that. But unfortunately, we did not. Um, but yeah, I, like, I've been seeing a lot of uh, otter pet things videos going around. And they look just like the best pets ever. I don't know if like... I don't know if there's something that you can that you can get as a pet in other countries. You definitely can't get them in the UK. But I don't know if they're like an animal you can get as a pet or if they're kind of like a specialist pet. Um, but I, 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 at least for the most part, I know that like having exotic pets is normally like not good because usually there's a reason that that animal isn't a domestic pet, a domestic animal, because it's not domesticated. So there can be some... Hey, we'll go to the shop here. Uh, there can be some fuckery uh, with having those sort of animals as pets. Because, you, like I said, I think they're kind of hard to care for because you... Oh, God. You don't really know how they're going to behave. And, oh, do you know what? I'm actually really glad I got hit here. Because it's saving me a ton of time in this room. Because Eve's um, bird crow, whatever you want to call it. Dead crow is just popping off. I'm pretty sure this room gave me a bomb when I finished it, right? Yes. Okay. So now we can pop in here, check what's what. BFF is pretty good. And I think we go back over this way. We... Kaboom, kachow, all of this. Good, good. And then we go back. And I think BFF's a good buy. I think BFF's always a solid foundation for a run. You don't always get familiars on runs, but it's very likely. A little bit of a shame that we're only one penny off of getting that, um... Getting that soul heart. I would have liked to have bought that, but that's whatever. Um... We're going to Mega Satan here, so we'll try and go to, for our Angel Deals. I, Eve's kind of a character that you tend to go to Devil Deals a bit more often, but we will try to remember to go Angel Deal. I do kind of like the fact that I was saying about how cool it was to have the um, the Ball of Tar thing going on. And now with um, with Horror Babylon active, it's barely noticeable. Also, these enemies are evil. Hopefully we can deal with them reasonably well, but they just yeet spiders at a million miles an hour. But as you're seeing, Ball of Tar is providing us with a, a nice way to keep... Contact enemies at bay. I have to say, I was saying in the last episode, and bear in mind it's the same day, that I was in a really good mood. And it it is continuing on this day. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done just because it's not great for my health. But I had, um, I had just a pretty huge lunch. I had um, a coleslaw turkey and pancetta wrap. But I made it into a... Into a quesadilla or quesarito I think they're called where you put another wrap around the outside with cheese in it and then melt the cheese probably not the healthiest thing I've ever made but it was mighty delicious I'll damn well say that wait is there a reason this enemy keeps sliding away from off screen slinking back and forth I think we'll probably use our um, bomb on that eternal heart but then again maybe not because we like I said we don't really need Red Hearts as Eve here, because we want to try and get into permanent Horror Babylon, so maybe grabbing extra HP isn't the best way to do that when we're not going to be trading it away. But at the same time, I suppose it is um, an extra heart container to like, play a blood donation machines, and we do actually have one um, in our back pocket right now, so it's potentially a good idea for that reason. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. If we get more Red Hearts on this floor, or like in probably it'd have to be on this floor for me to make the decision, then I might grab it. I suppose I've still got the razor though at the end of the day, so it doesn't matter all that much. I keep, I keep forgetting that Eve's got the razor now. Because when she didn't have it, she used to be such a painful character to play. Because uh, unless you got like a early devil deal that was actually worth having, then it didn't really matter. Uh, we're going to take soy milk here because I like soy milk. Um, obviously, it's a risky item to take, but personally, I don't think it's that bad. And honestly, with um, some of our shots now being um, slowing shots, I think it kind of works out quite nicely for us. But... I actually will go ahead and take the Eternal Heart now, just because I kind of think there's a potential that we might need it. <laughs> Let's grab that. Um, I'll, ch I'll check the shop for a Soul Heart. I'm pretty happy to see one. Good, good. Definitely need to refill my donation machine sometime soon. We do have extra keys here. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll grab the extra keys. Two keys for one bomb I feel like is a pretty good deal. Okay, so yeah, soy milk itself isn't really a great item. It's a lot better than it used to be, I'll say that, just because it doesn't have as much knockback anymore. It makes it a lot more useful. But it's not a great item, but 
as you can see, it's not doing all too bad. Like, it's, it's not doing all too bad. And I think the, the fact that we've got these slowing shots, like, sort of now meshed together with it, and we're going to be slowing enemies on the regular just because it's, like, one in every eight shots or whatever it said, and we're firing quite a lot of shots now, so it's going to be pretty regular. I think we can actually make this work quite well. I think getting a few damage ups here and there will definitely help. Oh, that devil deal is mighty tempting. Right, um, I think we pop our temperance machine down here. We do that. And do that. Okay. Unfortunately, not quite enough health to do what I wanted to do here. But, let's just go down to the next floor. Eternal Heart will put us back up to one full red heart, right? Yeah, there you go. And then we still got Horror Babylon active. Basically, at the minute, our success teeters on the fact that... Really? That was bullshit. Uh, our success T is in the fact that if we have Horror Babylon active. If Horror Babylon deactivates, we're in a bad spot. We are in a bad spot. So we kind of need to keep Razor Blade just to make sure of that. Oh, unfortunately, Mysterious Egg is just not very good. But the item room did give me some um, did give me some some money. And and I got myself uh, BFF as well. So Mysterious Egg's a little better. Although I don't actually know if Mysterious Egg benefits from BFF, I'll be honest. I don't know if that's something it benefits from naturally. Oh my lord, this dude won't die. That's a scary boss there. <laughs> you see, it's a champion and I still called it boss. It was that difficult. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to have some trouble. Definitely, there's going to be some trouble in Paradise, so to say. Especially with the, low, the current low HP that we have. But let's just pretend there's nothing wrong. And that way, nothing will be wrong. Okay. Um, ooh, that's really nice. Soul Heart and a Half for a key. Definitely like to see it. I like the fact that they're a little less common now. They seem to be... Um, seem, seem to have found a good balance with the ratios of those hearts showing up. I think uh, the developer did a good job of changing that. Also, from that episode prior, or the one before that... The um, Repentance Plus mod was changing the, the UI visuals and uh, and the hearts on the floor, changing what they look like. Seems that that's been fixed now, which is rather nice. The developers seem to get that sorted pretty sharpish, which is always lovely to see when there's a mistake or error in a, in a modern developer. Just, like, straight on it, fixing it. But yeah, well, if we actually hit all our shots, we are doing great damage. I think the shop's really going to be our key to success this run. Um, I'm hoping for like a stopwatch, champion belt would be fantastic. I'm trying to think of other other outs that we could get. Uh, I have actually weakened the shop item pool via some of the modifications I've made to some of the mods I use. For example, Jerb mod, um, the character, added the fierce mask item to the shop pool, which was the one where you get like 20-20 and a stat up in boss rooms, but you couldn't use cards or pills or you're active. Um, I've removed that from the shop pool. I think that was way too strong for shop pool. Mother's Love, which is another one that makes it so that um, every fam for every familiar you have, you get an all stats up. I removed that from the shop pool too. I thought that was too strong. And a few others here and there. I think there was another one called, like, The Stars Are Calling from Repentance Plus, which gave you two lemma getting wisps at the start of every floor, and that was a shop item. And personally, for, for, my, for my liking balance-wise, that's not... It's too, too strong for shop item pool, so I removed that myself as well. And these are just personal tweaks that I've made. I like I wouldn't expect anyone else to go out their way to do them, but I know how. It's not that it's not that difficult to be honest. Um, if anyone wants to know how, do let me know because it's uh it's it's something that I know some other people might want to do. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of interested in, in kind of tweaking some of the balance to my liking a little more. The only problem with doing that is if the mod updates on Steam Workshop. It will overwrite your changes and you have to remake them unless you make yourself a private version of the mod. But in that case, the mod will not update when the actual developer updates the mod. So it's better to just um, re-edit re the changes when the mod gets updated. Obviously, it depends on the mod and how how often it gets updated to how big of a big of an issue that ends up being. But most of the mods that I've tweaked, um, apart from Repentance Plus, don't update that often. Repentance Plus is, is the most often one of the ones that I've changed. And even then, it's like once every few weeks. It's not crazy often. But yeah, I gotta say, it's just... I just, um... Tweaked, like, some of the Tainted Hearts a little bit to change how they work, like the ones that give damage. You guys know what I've done already. I've spoken about it before. But also doing a little few tweaks here and there, um... To the item pools, what shows up where. Uh, there was a... I think it was Deliverance didn't really have anything in the cursed, 
curse room pool or the red chest room, so I amended that. And I made the um, the devil pool a little weaker because they had some really good items in the devil pool. So I removed like one or two of them uh, and, and moved them to the cash room um, just, just to balance it out a little bit or at least hopefully. I think like obviously for the most part you want to keep mods the way the developers intended. But after enough gameplay experience, enough time playing with these changes, I feel like I'm confident enough to say for sure what I think is balanced and what I think isn't. Um, I think I did the same with, with, um, Ipecac as well, actually. I changed some of the balance in Ipecac. Like, I moved, I moved the jetpack item out of the shop pool because I didn't like the idea of it being in there. There was a few others that I moved around as well. Right, so let's check our shop here. Burger Bombs is decent, but I really don't think it's good enough with a reroll machine available to us. Double actives there. I'm gonna keep rolling. Let's see, but pill's real good. I'll grab that. There you go. That's what we like to see. Bit of humbling bundle. Humbling bundle is our savior. Humbling bundle puts us in a position where we very rarely have to worry about consumables. And it's kind of why I didn't buy burger bombs. You, you don't really want to buy burger bombs when um, humbling bundle exists. <laughs> It's just like, it's it's just such a worse deal. Secret room is plausibly here. There you go. This will probably be an... Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, I was just about to say, this will probably be an exit. Uh, uh, I'll at least push you over to this guy then. Um, I am going to sleep in the bed, but not for the reason you might think. Right, let's crack that. Rerolls all runes into soul stones. Sounds pretty cool. Also, it's a pretty funny sprite as well. So I'm gonna sleep in this bed here, and you may be thinking, why don't you wanna be in Horror Babylon? And yes, yes, I very much do. But we actually have a pretty interesting way of getting into Horror Babylon here again. So we can go over here, come into our curse room, pop the razor, um, and pop it on the way out as well. So we go pop. And this is going to let us smelt a trinket for a soul heart. And I think this trinket is well worth smelting. Oh, that was a really bad hit. Although Mystery Egg popped out a really, really good champion. Maybe that's what it does the, with the BFF. Maybe it makes it pop out champions. It's very possibly the, uh, the idea. But yeah, we'll pop that in there. And we shall smelt it up for one soul heart. And then we get that permanently, which is pretty good. Then we can pop that to get out. And then we can pop it one more time to re-enter Horror Babylon. This is in a much better state here. Obviously, health isn't as good anymore. But we'll uh, keep on going. I think, honestly, Mysterious Egg, when it's doing stuff like this... Also, where do we get this dip from? Who knows? But yeah, it seems, it seems as though the Mysterious Egg with BFF synergy is that it makes champions. This is going to be a pretty tough fight for us. We do not have a lot of damage to go at here. I think this is going to be problematic. I think we should really try and utilize bombs. Or he could just insta-die. We got a damage up, which is very necessary for our cause right now. We also need to be fighting the um, statue, so let's do that. The mitre here is great. Yeah, I don't know what insta-killed him before, but... It seems to be my mega fatty dude. The, the, the fatty dude seems to be doing a great job. I feel like he's going to accidentally walk into a fire, though. He didn't. Oh. Don't walk into that fire. Okay. Got our keepies, too. Health is looking a bit better. The mitre is... It's so-so. It's one of those things. It did get nerfed, but it's one of those things where it can be great, but it's not always great. Um. Right. One moment. Let me just pause the recording one second. I apologize. Okay, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. But yeah, damage is looking a little better now. Obviously, uh, getting um, growth hormones is great. I mean, honestly, the speed up as well is awesome. But I think this this little fat boy here, he's going to be doing us some good stuff. Like, he jumps directly on enemies. He's seemingly taking very little damage when he does so, which is surprising considering he's landing on the enemy, uh, but he does contact damage from the little f uh, fly orbital, but then on top of that, he does creep damage. Oh, he did just die, though. Um, 
creep damage, um, and he was doing, uh, he was doing shots as well. He was firing out shots. It's all all around good stuff. Oh, this is this is horrible. This room's evil. Nah, not really worth it. Anyways, Mr. Boom's great here. It's really good for the late game bosses if you can get a lot of uh, a lot of bombs stacked up. Off this room again, really. This room again. Oh my god, how am I dodging this? Doing pretty well in killing them though, I will say that. So the champion one that's the main pain. Just the champion one left now, I think. Get Sloan. There you go. Oh, that's so good. Oh my lord. That is going to be incredible. I'm pretty sure with the trinket as well, it's always like one in ten shots. Or at least something around that. That's going to be super strong for us. Obviously, the Nurse Goblin only does damage equivalent to the damage, per tick, the equivalent of the damage that you have, but I still think this is going to be a really strong trinket for us. And got remember, it's got that Herming as well, you just saw them curl there. Hive Mind is potentially good. We're seeing a Cracked Key for sale here, I think I'll grab that. I don't know where I'm going to use it quite yet, but just seeing a Cracked Key available to us is interesting. Maybe I'll just use it here. And there you go. Okay, okay. I like this. Cambian Conception is very good for us, actually. Cambian Conception is going to give us the um, ability to get some familiars with uh, the Razor Blade. And Blood Bite. Yeah, okay, let's grab this. Yeah, okay, that's what I was hoping for. So now we can go out of here, go into this room over here. And we'll just crank on that razor blade. Which sounds just weird, but there you go. Yeah, and then we got a charm burning. It's de that's definitely what it's doing. It's making sure we get charmed enemies every time. But yeah, um, we should be able to proc Cambian Conception through the razor blade. Which is real nice. So every time we find a heart, we really want to be picking it up on purpose. And then razor blading immediately. Unfortunately, there's no sort of counter or way to know when Cambian Conception is going to proc from what I know. But this has become a pretty good soy milk run. I'm actually really, really, really liking Mysterious Egg with BFF. I didn't think it would be integral to the build in any way, shape, or form, but it's proving to be so. Oh, I love the mega, the, the mega blood bag bombs. They look great. Good, good. That's also pretty good for us here. This room just annoys me. Yeah, the finger's good. Unfortunately, the finger no longer applies tear effects and repentance. That's actually... I'm actually going to be doing a podcast with um, with Kilburn this weekend, I think. Um, and I think I might, uh, I might bring that up to him and ask if it's something that can be fixed in the next patch. I don't actually know when the next patch will be, but the finger is actually still rather nice. Not a lot of damage because we have soy milk, but it's extra damage. And it's BFF'd, so... It does double. I'm quickly going to go over and grab those two red hearts that are over here. Also go through this room here. This this Bernie's doing his, doing his best. He's doing a real good job. Firing off those pink burns. Keeper's sack. That was really good. Probably shouldn't have used it in a room with pits and spikes. Probably my bad, but we got a lot of money nonetheless. Oh, damn. Uh, did not realize that. Right. Uh, let's keep her going. I keep whistling. I really shouldn't whistle on video because it does not sound good. Oh. 
Um, second secret room, we could get, we could have it here. Nope. Could be here. There you go. And no, thank you. Uh, right. Normal secret room. Caves two. I will try here, although I'm doubting it. Yeah, and then we'll also try here as well. There we go. Sadly, not what we're looking for. Some keys out of it, though, nonetheless. Right. Let's go. Now, actually, quite happy with the haul that we got from uh, our red room. Not the best things you could get, but they kind of work for our character right now. Like a nice bomb synergy for our mega bombs and a way to gain familiars out of Razor Blade with BFF. Don't jump. Yes, there you go. Get that creep on your boy. Whoa, hello. Wasn't expecting you. Whipping Cream is honestly really, really good with Soy Milk. A nice shot speed up with a bit of damage up as well. Would be nice if we could see the proportionate damage up, but it's not a massive problem that we can't. Yeah, we're, we're doing great damage with our familiars here. We need uh, the item that buffs up charmed charmed enemies. There's a, I can't remember what the item's called now, but that'd be super good with this build. Okay, we've got a sack room here. Sack room's not all that useful to us, I don't think. Right. Ooh, hello. What the heck? That was confusing. Ooh, we got a library. See, a library's kind of a weird one. Especially... Hmm... I think we do this, then we grab, we pop that, grab that, grab that, then we grab that, and we get out of here. Okay. I feel like that was good, although I should have maybe taken Book of Virtues to play this dude a little bit. I've got a purple heart in here. Oh, that's a new heart. That's a new heart. A whole new heart. I think that's the heart of the zealot. Should we go have a look what that does in the wiki? Yeah, let's go and take a little look what that does. Because there is a wiki for uh, repentance plus... Oopsie. Repentance plus mod fandom. Um, I guess that'll be in pickups. And then where's the hearts? So here's the hearts. The... Heart of the Zealot. Yeah, Zealot Heart. Has a 2.5% chance to replace a Soul Heart. Um, always occupies your rightmost Soul Heart, Black Heart, or filled um, Red Heart, Burn Heart container. Disappears when the Heart is uh, attached to, to it. Disappears when the Heart is attached to is fully depleted. That makes no sense. For every Zealot Heart in your possession, the player gets two Lemmageddon Wisps when they enter a new floor. Empty... Um, and the em empty and zealot hearts. Okay, that's just some bugs. Okay, so apparently it's a it's a heart that's hard to keep that is going to give us Lemmageddon wisps. Ah, and this is where the UI thing came into play. Essentially, if we can keep that going, we get a Lemmageddon wisp on the new floor. Now I don't know if we can keep it for more than one floor. So I'd really like to try and not get hit to make sense of this. I just can't imagine that's going to happen, though, for some reason. But, seems like an interesting new heart. It seems like a very strong new heart. I'll say that for sure. Ooh, do you know what we should do? We should go and get the Solar Magdalene here. Pop it um, in some rooms and try and get some extra hearts to uh, start playing around with um, our Razor Blade a bit. Really shouldn't have bothered using it in a room where we literally can't get the hearts, but, you know... Does it last multiple rooms? I can't remember. It does not last multiple rooms. Good. That was a complete waste. Yeah. Sadly, Golden Teleporter isn't really my jam. 
I would like to use it, but I just think the Razor Blade's too integral to what we've got going on right now. Right. Hard room to not get hit in here. Yep, there you go. See, really wants to test out how that heart was going to go, but we do not get that. We do not get that benefit. It's a damn shame. But, still, cool new heart nonetheless. Calm down, you clickety clacks. Damn it, I was having some red hearts there. Somebody clickety clacks on the necro now. I like it, it's good. What's this room doing over here? All oh, this lonesome. This is where the shop is. It's gotta be, hasn't it? Now, honestly, I'm fine with getting hit at the minute because as long as I've got enough health to survive, I'm getting some really good stuff from Mysterious Egg. Right. And we're killing so fast as well. I think Bugger Tears is really helping with that, but yeah, surprisingly quickly. Where is the shop? It's here. I'm gonna I'm gonna let my buddy take care of this one, I think. Come on, buddy. I knew you were gonna hit me, you stupid. King Baby. King Baby's a pretty good one. Let's let's grab King Baby, why not? We'll grab a soul heart as well. All these poops. The hell's leaving all these poops? Do we just have a bat that constantly creates poop? Is that. Wait a minute, is that what we have right now? Deck of cars. I'm gonna keep rolling. Black candle, there you go. That's the creme de la creme. Right. Let's let me just let me just test a theory here. Let me find a let me find an appropriate room. Okay, this is a good one. Do you just literally leave poop wherever you move? This is a new champion type added by a mod. Because if so, I might be able to if I can get petrified poop in this room. It, it it's very much looking like the poops that this dude creates cannot drop things. Which is fair play. Um, I do not blame the game for doing that. But I, it'd be really cool if I could. Yeah, it, it very much seems like the poops that this guy creates cannot drop things, which is fair. Uh, right, let's get, let's get let's get the hell out of here. I'm liking the little army that we've managed to create here. Hello, sister visitors. It's kind of funny at the minute, the only thing that follows our King Baby is Mysterious Egg and the Key Piece, which doesn't matter who they follow. Right, we've got all those bugger tears stuck on there. Noise. Damage up again. This is great stuff right now. Burn Heart here as well. Godhead. I don't know how many of you know this, but Godhead is insane when combined with soy milk. Because Godhead now has fixed damage. So it means no matter what your damage is, the aura is still going to do a specific amount of damage. And oh my god. Has that been there the entire time? Please say it's not. Please say that's not been there the entire time. I'm really going to cry if it has. I just realised that the character selection thing was on the screen. If that's been there the whole time, I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm gonna actually cry if that's been there. This is such a cool run. Oh god, my heart has sunk. Please tell me that hasn't been there the whole time. Oh my god. I'm really worried that's been there the whole time now. I'm... Oh, oh my god. We'll have to find out once I finish this run, but... 
if that's been there the whole time, I kind of have to scrap this run because I can't make you guys watch 35 minutes of a video where you literally can't see what's happening. That would be devastating. But look at this run now. Look at what it has become. How could I not upload this? I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to put out a poll. Because <laughs> this is a really good run that I do not want to scrap. I'm hoping I just accidentally pressed it and it's only been up for a few minutes. Ooh, Tinted Rock. But yeah, goddamn. Now we've got proper herming. We've got the aura doing the full fixed damage. Oh, it's just all sorts of beautiful stuff going on right now. This run has become very overpowered. Still not got on a, a proc from Cambion Conception yet, unfortunately. Check this out. Ooh, Halo. Nice. Seraphim. There you go. Got a bit of Seraphim going on. Now we've got Flight. I don't think I thought we had flight before, but we definitely didn't, did we? I maybe do need to trade some of my, um, some of my hearts away now, though, now that I've, uh, got my key piece finished. Oh my god. Such a painful room. <laughs> the damage. It's so good. It's so very good. Boom bow. Boom bow, boom bow, boom bow. Heck. Pretty much it for this floor, right? Look how much we destroyed it. This is this is why you take soy milk, people. Just for the chance at a run like this. Everything's just working so beautifully together. I think that we take this, because we're going to go Mega Satan, and I really think we need the damage. I know it's not much, and obviously Godhead's going to be carrying nonetheless. Hello. Really need to get rid of some of these red hearts. We have quite the few. Ow. I didn't mean to get rid of the burn heart. I'll show you that. Oh, we've got a baby knight on our side now. Look how small he is. Look at how tiny that boy is. Oh my god. I'm trying my best to go the right way here, but it is the womb, so we never know, really, do we? But look how quickly I'm speeding through these rooms, though. It's it's just so satisfying when you get, like, a build like this, where it's, like, conventionally weak items converging together to get create something beautiful. Obviously, Godhead is not included in that, but something like Soy Milk becoming just a run that's amazing. Just so satisfying. Hey, we got Dark Bum! Not, not what I really wanted, but hey her, it's Dark Bum. I'm not sure what uh, BFF Dark Bum does. Does he pay out quicker, maybe? Some of the BFF familiars don't do anything, so potentially just, he's just bigger. Okay, we've got Blast Assist here. Got him. Ooh, narrow miss there. Soul Heart. Unfortunately, another Angel deal. Yeah, I guess. Um, Not really anything here that's that appealing to me, I don't think. I think Holy Water's the best thing there. Remember when Holy Water used to be the biggest pile of garbage in the Angel Pool you'd ever done seen? And now it's like, I wouldn't say it's run carrying, but it's like, it's pretty close. Oh, oh I forgot about that. With BFF as well, it leaves a blue fire. No, I'm taking that, bitch. 
Yeah, with um, with BFF, it leaves a blue fly, a, a blue fire on the floor. Right, keep going this way. I'm fairly certain I'm going the right way. I don't know why, but I just have the feeling. Whoa, whoa! Sometimes I get a good feeling. Yeah, I get a feeling that I've never ever had before. Whoa, whoa! I get a good feeling. Come on, guys. Give it a rest now. Ah, oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Not the right way. At, th at this point, I'm more interested in getting um, Mystery Egg to, to proc than I am for actually getting anything else out of uh, Cambion Conception. <laughs> Okay, you guys, you guys cleared the way for me. Thank you. Bye. That's another dead end. Of course, we've gone doubly the wrong way now. Three times the charm. Yep, there you go. Another wrong way. We can actually go in here, though. This could provide. Do you know what? This is pretty good. Might as well get some donating done. Why not? Oh shit, this was not a room that was emptied already. I walked in here like there was no enemies in here. Thinking it was a room that's being cleared. It has not. Good. Speeding through the avenue. I think this run's pretty set in stone now. Like I said, I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit because there's a chance this recording won't even make it to YouTube. Soul of Isaac's probably the best thing to hold here. Loving all these soul stones. This trinket's so good. We got like two banger trinkets on this run. Managed to smelt one of them as well. There you go. Reflected chest there. Lust, give us a syringe. Nope. Did give us a horse pill, though. I'll gulp it down. LSD. Ooh, the double LSD. Gotta love it. Ooh, we got a soul heart there. Oh, we can't even grab it. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Right. You should get absolutely wrecked here. No, the only thing that can make this, like, better is piercing. I'm loving our rainbow creep as well. Another angel deal to pop on. This could be horrible. Most certainly is. The hell's this? Is there a door mimic there? Excuse me. <laughs> There's a door mimic there. The hell? The F? One moment. Righty ho then. Yeah, so this is um if if you are epileptic in any way, shape, or form, please refrain your your eyes from everything on screen right now. Because we're gonna have LSD for another little while here. This is like full on seizure inducing. <laughs> Nice one. You've locked him down while he's unable to fire at me. Thanks for that. Oh, wait. Is it, is it over? Yeah, LSD's over. Door mimic. <laughs> How could you? No. Gotta have this trinket. Right. I don't know if this is quite as good as having Godhead. I'll be honest. What the hell, Door Mimics? Fuck you! <laughs> nah, to be fair, the damage on this is pretty high. If another Door Mimic gets me this floor... I'm gonna be peeved.
God damn, we are killing stuff so fast though. Hey, thanks for the soul heart back. Can't need that. Oh, there's two in this room as well. There you go. And another one there. Holy hell. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, what? His face is... Fix this, boys. His face is all the way up. He was like a literal one frame away from it being hittable. Okay. Do these fellas. Goodbye. Yeah, because they don't even, wouldn't actually trade any HP away. This has been a, dis a decently good E for him. There you go. Get brimstone. And we are away. No more Dom mix to find either. Good. Right. Five, four, three, two, and one. That pushed the bomb out the way anyways, but there you go. You're going down, Satan. You're going down. Mega Susan will be pretty easy to kill, I'd reckon. I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with them. Right. Got this Soul of Isaac as well to play around with. Probably should have let um, my uh, Dark Bum get that, but oh well. Pentagram. Yes. Yes, and Soul of Isaac. Nah, we do have two luck, so I will. Uh, I will complete some of this floor here. See if we can get ourselves a chest or two. We're killing bosses quick enough that we don't really have to fret. Say that and immediately get hit by a scythe, you little bastard. God damn, the amount of sticky tea is kind of crazy. <laughs> look at him! Look at look at that! Look at how many are stuck to them there. That's nuts. It's because the because uh, the way Trisag like updates its frames. I, I, update frames is not the right way to phrase that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Very incorrect terminology there, but you kind of got what I was trying to say, or at least I hope you did. At least someone hopefully did. No more LSD, thank you. My retinas cannot take it. My retinas just can't take this feeling anymore. Still no chest, sadly. Load that boy up. Hey, a burn heart, though. You see? We're getting rewards. There's a chest. Montezuma's Revenge. Eh. Probably won't be that useful for us, but decent enough. Vroom. Be good if that was, like, herming as well. God damn, there's a lot of leeches in this room. Holy hell. Another chest I heard drop? Nope, sadly not. Okay, this room will be quick. This is the room that reeks of speed. Hey, haunted chest is gonna give us no soul hearts because I should have let it throw in it. Ah, that was dumb. Didn't even, can't, I was going to say, I could grab the lemonade, but we can't even use it, can we? It's no, it's no use against Mega Satan, right? Looks like we're not going to get much more out of this. Got a few more rooms to try out, but not looking promising. A 
15. One more item. Lost Soul. <laughs> he does have BFF, so he does start with a Holy Mantle. But he's not going down any floors. So he's just he's just along for the ride. We'll see if we can keep him alive. I would... Considering his Holy Mantle's gone already, I would highly doubt it. This is a horrible room. Full of evil. Whoever made the pile... You are a pile of shit. <laughs> he briefly lost his holy mantle, but it's okay. Grab that. Ooh, soul heart. I see you. I see you. Right, two more rooms, I think. Maybe three. It's technically the three if you count the boss, but I'm not going to count that. Okay. One more chest at least. Dang. Last room over here. Our lost soul's still alive somehow. I doubt he's living through the Mega Satan fight, but we can only pray. Okay, let's go for it. Let's do it. Hello, my sir. How would you like some of my heavenly fury? It seems very much sure you would. Lost Souls getting awfully close to these tears here. Kind of scaring me. The hands are taking so much focus away from him. But we are doing a bang up job. Don't have to worry about the creep either, which is nice. Stay away from my baby. Stay away from my baby. A pile on as many, uh, Booger T as we can. I gotta say, the Booger T aren't sticking to him as well, but... Seems that they actually are. I thought they weren't for a minute there, but... Right. This is the, the most likely part for our baby to get hit here. We did good, we did good. Okay. I'm surprised Trisag is actually doing so well for us here. Like, it's not lagging the game at all. Okay. Angels, these guys could hit our baby pretty easily as well because they fire beams that can pass through us. All we've got to do is kill them before they fire any beams though and then we're good to go. No! The baby can still get hit while I'm in Judas's thing. That's some bullshit. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> I thought I'd be safe. Damn it, I thought the Judas thing would make, make the baby safe too. It does not make the baby safe. Trying to get bombs in there whenever I can, because you can see how much damage they're doing. They are a little hard to use. I'm going to be firing perfectly straight, really. Need to have the full effect. This attack will probably kill our baby. Thank God he doesn't follow uh, King Baby. That'd be awful. He's be being slowed down heavily here, which is nice. Come on. Keep my baby alive. We can do it. Yes. We kept him alive. Lost soul. You're the best. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.